Welcome. This is the second video of day 13 of 365 Days Aptitude Challenge. We will continue with our topic LCM. In the previous video, we have seen some of the questions. Now, in this video, we'll see uh, some more uh, questions from LCM. All right. So, basically, all the methods which are possible, or all the, all the type of questions which are possible in this LCM and HCF, I am trying to uh, give it to you. All right. Okay, so if there is a question which says find the smallest number, so the moment I see smallest number, I understand it is a LCM question, right? Find the smallest number that leaves remainder 1 when divided by 4, remainder 3 when divided by 6 and remainder 5 when divided by 11. So when that smallest number is divided by 4, 6 and 11, it leaves different remainders, okay, as it happened in the previous video also but what is the change in this question is the difference between these two here is three the difference uh, between these here is three and the difference between these two here is six okay so here there is a different you say a difference correct the previous question the difference was same so I was able to apply that formula. Otherwise, here in this case, I cannot be able to do this. So how to solve this kind of a question? Okay, so let's try to see how we are able to solve this kind of a question. Okay, so let's see this one. Now, if I am normally, traditionally solving this question, okay, the question becomes very big, the solution becomes very big. See, when a number is divided by 4, if I consider that number is x when it is divided by 4 and it is giving a remainder as 1, okay. Now, I can say that particular number must be equal to 4 times of x plus that remainder 1, correct, okay. Because when it is divided by 4, okay, when it is divided by 4, okay, it will get cut, okay, and the remainder I will get will be 1. So, I can say this number will be equal to 4x plus 1, okay. When that number is divided by 6, it gives a remainder 1, that means that number can be 6y plus 3, okay, and here this number will be 11z plus 5, okay. Now, here I know that this is a number here, this is a number here, and this is a number here. So, I can use this equation where I can say 4x plus 1 is equal to 6y plus 3 is equal to 11z plus 5. Ye equations ko mere ko somehow solve karke answer leke aana hai. I have to get the answer. Okay, in what method I do, whether I use the ratios here or there. Okay, all those things we can do. But it is unnecessary to do because uh, uh, what you say, traditionally this would take around 3 and a half to 4 minutes. If you are doing it very fast. Like if you are using a shortcut, okay, agar am log is ka ek shortcut use karte, logically only, okay, logically. So let's try to find out how much time we can uh, solve this question and how much time we can solve this one, okay. So we you have to understand this very well, okay, otherwise it will be very difficult, okay. Now, when a number is divided by 11, when some number is divided by 11, if I am getting that remainder okay if i'm getting the remainder to be five okay that means what could be that number the minimum number it can be is five correct because when five is divided by lena the remainder i get is five okay so the minimum number here when a number is divided by eleven if i have to get the remainder five the minimum number here should be five correct okay now if I do the same thing, okay, with this, where I divide this number by 6, am I getting the remainder 3 or not is what I have to check, correct? So, when this 5 is divided by 6, if I get the remainder as 3, I can say that number is 5 only. Like when I divide this number 5 by 6, the remainder which I get is 5 only here, like in Mirko 3 are not. Okay, so I can say this is not that number. Ye five number name or something. Okay, so what I will do is I'll go for the next possibility. That is, with five divided by eleven, remainder five it is not adding up. So I will add another eleven to it. That means five plus eleven, sixteen divided by eleven. Am I getting the remainder five? Yes, I am getting the remainder five. What I will check is, is if this sixteen is divided by six. 
am i getting the remainder as 3 no i am not getting the remainder as 3 in fact i am getting the remainder as 4 okay so next number check karna hai aise humko next number check karte rehna hai so what i will do 16 plus 9 okay uh, sorry 16 plus 11 27 divided by 6 how much remainder i am getting the remainder i am getting is 3 so here i can say with 27 okay when I divide it by 11, I will get remainder 5. When I divide it by 6, I will get remainder 3. If you want to can check, 27 divided by 11. What is the remainder I am getting? 5. 27, 27 divided by 6. What is the remainder I am getting? 3. So, it satisfies both these conditions. Okay, a condition satisfied. Now, I have to check if this 27, okay, if this 27, one second. Okay, when this 27 is divided by 4, okay, am I getting the remainder which is required which is 1? Am I getting the remainder 1? I am not getting the remainder 1. In fact, I am getting the remainder, what you say, 3. Okay, that means this is not the number. Okay, or thoda amko karna padega. So, what I will do here is, I will see the next number. Okay, I will see the next number which when divided by 6 it gives a remainder 3 because 27 say ye ho hai. okay this is happening this is also happening but this is not happening so i'll go for the next number okay now what i will do 27 plus 11 which is 38 divided by 6 am i getting the remainder 2 i am not getting uh, am i getting the remainder 3 which is required i am not getting the remainder 3 so one second. Okay. All right. So this must have disturbed a little bit. Anyways, when 38 is divided by 6, am I getting the remainder 3? No, I am getting remainder 2. Next number, plus 11. When 49 divided by 6, am I getting the remainder 2? 3? No, I am getting remainder 1. Next one. 60 divided by 6, I am getting remainder 0. Okay. Next one, I am doing here because I have place nahi hai. 71 divided by 6, I am getting remainder 5. 82 divided by 6, I am getting remainder 4. Okay. Next. 93 divided by 6, I am getting the remainder 3 again. Now, Again, I got the remainder 3. Now, this one, 93, I will check when I divide it by 4, if I am getting the remainder 1. So, 93 divided by 4, am I getting the remainder 1? Yes, I am getting the remainder as 1. That means, this is the number 93, which when divided by 11, gives a remainder 5. Divided by 6, gives a remainder 3. Divided by 4, gives a remainder 1. Okay. So, this is the method which I have used. Okay, you can see online ki agar aap ye method use nahi kar rahe ho, and if you are trying to use the traditional method, of course, bought time lag jayega. Okay, samajne mein bhi aur karne mein bhi. Okay, so this is the method I am doing because I have to explain you, I have taken so long. Otherwise, itna time nahi lagta hai. If I have to show you once again, okay, let me just show you once again how it can be done. So, what is the way you must be able to do it? Okay. So, what I will do is, initially, 11 divided by x divided by 11, okay, I am getting the remainder as 5, correct? Okay. So, what is the minimum number so that it happens? 5 divided by 11, I will get remainder as 5, correct? Okay. Now, I will check if this 5 when divided by 6, Okay, this 5 when divided by 6, is it giving me a remainder of 3? No, it is still giving me remainder 5. I remainder of 3. Chahiye. That means, ye number nahi hai pe. Okay, I have to go for the next number. Okay, 5 plus 11. 16 divided by 11. Okay, the remainder is 5. Isse main check kar ke dekh sakta okay. So, if 16 is divided by 6, am I getting the remainder as 3? No, I am getting the remainder as 4. Okay, I am not getting that remainder. 
सो नेक्स्ट टाइम व्हाट आई विल से इज ये नंबर भी नहीं चाहिए प्लस 11 व्हिच इज 27 डिवाइडेड बाय 11 एम आई गेटिंग रिमाइंडर 5 यस हियर आई एम गेटिंग द रिमाइंडर 5 when 27 is divided by 6, am I getting remainder 3? Yes, I am getting remainder 3. Okay. So, with that number 27, this is satisfied and this is satisfied. Will this be satisfied? I have to check. Okay. So, now I will see if 27 divided by 4, am I getting the remainder as 1? No, I am getting remainder as 3. So, 27 is not that number. So, what I have to do? Okay. I have to see that मेरको अभी फिर से 11 11 ऐड करके देखना है where I am getting this remainder again ये three वाला remainder फिर से कहाँ पे satisfy हो रहा okay now I am always taking the numbers okay which is satisfying this one whenever it is getting divided by 11 I should get a remainder five so that to satisfy this one automatically I am always adding 11 okay and then checking if that number divided by 6 is giving me the desired remainder which is 3. Okay. So, basically, I have explained to explain this again. Okay. But, how do you do this? I will tell you. Okay. So, that you don't waste much time. So, 5 divided by 11. 1 by 6. 2 by 3. 3 by 4. 5 divided by 11. Remainder is 5. Okay. But, 5 divided by 6. Remainder is not 3. Okay, so this is wrong. Just add 11. Okay, add 11 to it, which is 16. 16 divided by 6. Remainder is 4. Add 11. Because I have 3. Nahi hai. Add 11. 27 divided by 6. Remainder is 3. Okay, so here it is satisfied. Now I will check whether this 27 divided by 4. Am I getting the desired remainder of 1? No, I am not getting the desired remainder of 1. So, 27 is not that number. Okay. So, I have to go next. Jana hai. Okay. Anyways, I got here. here but, I have next number. Jana hai. So, I will do it as plus 11. 38 by 6. The remainder I get is 2. Next, 49 by 6. Okay. The remainder I get is 1. Next, 60 divided by 6. The remainder I get is 0. Okay. Next, 71 divided by 6. The remainder I get is 5. Next, 82 divided by 6. The remainder I get is 4. Okay. Next, 93 divided by 6. The remainder I get is 3. Again, I got 3. Okay. So, now I will check if this 93, when divided by 4, okay, am I getting the remainder 1? In this case, I am getting the remainder 1. That means 93 is that number. So, the logic which I am using here is, okay, once again. So, the logic which I am using here is, I am always taking the number, okay, which is divided by 11 and gives a remainder 4. This is why I am always adding 11 Okay, so that I need not check this. Okay, I need not check this. Okay, and every time I am what you say adding 11 i am checking when it is divided by 6 am i getting the remainder as 3 or not once i am getting the remainder as 3 i am checking if this number divided by 4 is it 1 in this case it was not 1 so i checked for the next number okay so added 11 checked for 6 not coming okay added 11 checked for 6 it was not there but here i got it so i can say this one is the answer. So, 93 should be that answer which one divided by 4 gives 1, divided by 6 gives 3 and divided by 11 gives 5 as a remainder. Okay. Now, I will do the next question or a question I am log uh, kar lete Okay. Because we have done only one question here. Okay. Something has happened to this. Let's see. This one you take as a homework. Aap ye homework le lo. Okay. And comment it in the comment section. What should be the answer? Let's see if you are able to solve this question. Main iska solution dalunga. Okay. I will put the solution the way in which it is possible. I will keep. At least I will put the key. Ke answer kya hai iska. All right. Let's see. Next one. Calculate the fractions. Uh, calculate the LCM of the fraction. LCM of the fraction is equal to LCM of 
numerator values which is 3 comma 5 comma 3 divided by HCF of HCF of denominator values 8 comma 16 comma so 16 comma 16 okay so if I want LCM, LCM of fractions are given. Agar mereko LCM chahiye. So I will take LCM of numerator divided by HCF of denominators. Okay. Now what will be the LCM here? LCM will be 3 into 5 which is 15. Okay. Divided by. What, what is common here? The common here would be 8. So 8. So the LCM of this one is equal to this. You solve one question. Okay, uh, you take one question and solve it and let me know the answer in the comment section. Alright, so thank you so much guys. Okay, there was a little disturbance in the video. Somehow, ye kabhi -kabhi ho jata hai. I don't understand it much. Alright, so thank you so much guys. We'll meet in the next video.